Hey guys, Maker Model Lua here with a beginner's guide on how to use Maker Model Lua's Admin V3. So if you don't know what it is, it's a tool that you put into your place to give you power in your game. And so there's a tutorial in the description on how to insert it. And you don't have to do anything or add your name to any list unless you're in a group place. So if you join that place, then you get these GUIs. This one is to basically tell people what the admin's about, and this one's the taskbar. Note these are disableable, if that's a word, in um, settings. So I'll show that in a moment. So there are ranks. On the top one is owner. You are automatically owner when you join. You can add your friends or whatever. They have all the commands, and then there's admin. They have most of the commands. They can kick and ban people still. And then there's members who um, cannot ban people, but they still have power. And so you can pretty much limit their power by enabling disable abuse. So good way to know if your admin is to say semicolon test the prefix and it has this message you can drag this message around and then there's this button that uses my crappy voice synthesizer and you can press the minus button and it goes away to get it back you press the taskbar on the bottom it opens up you can get it back you can press X and it goes away so if you say semicolon cmds, you open all the commands. And so these are for non admins, as it says. They get a couple, they can't do anything really except rejoin your place or see the commands themselves. And so if you want to know what the command's about, you can either click it and it'll tell you all about it. Or you can say semicolon get cmd and then the command. So I want to know what rejoin is about. So I can see the command. It's rejoin, it's aliases, it's rejoin, semicolon rj, and all these will work as the exact same as if you were to say semicolon rejoin. The description says makes yourself rejoin the server. There are zero arguments, means meaning there's nothing after it. You don't say a player's name, it's just semicolon rejoin. Minimum rank is non member. It's not fun and, and it's not abusable. You might be asking what fun is. It's basically any command that can be fun, I guess. For an example, you can use this bar to search. There's a command called vomit. So, as you can see, it's a fun command because it's fun to play around with. And perhaps War Clan would not want this command enabled for some of the admins. Um, if you're the rank admin or owner, you can still do the command, but if you're a member, you cannot if fun is disabled. How do you know if it's disabled? In game, you can say semicolon settings. And since I'm an owner, I can change these settings. Um, but if I'm any rank below owner, I cannot change these settings. So, you can scroll through all some of this stuff and it says fun commands. And there's a check mark, meaning people can do fun commands. But if we don't, if we click that, then it's unchecked. And members cannot do the command now. Uh, but I'm going to enable that. And so these are member commands, which is a majority of the commands. Then there are admin rank commands, and then there are owner commands. So some of these, like like locking the server, which basically means anyone who's not an admin can't join. 
um, you wouldn't want anyone with a lower rank enabling that. So it's under owner. So I'm here in settings in studio using the plugin. And so you can see there are categorized settings. So I'm under ranks right now. Um, and owner, as it says under the description, all commands, full power, stops admin, and other ownery things. So if I want to add another person, I can be like Bob, and it's some it's separated with a comma and a space or comma. And admin, most commands can kick, ban, crash, has power and servers, members, is some commands, no kick, ban, crash, no real power, banned, they can't join the game, crashed, he crashes Roblox and potentially their computer, and muted means they can't use the chat bar. So for abuse control, you can disable abuse. So for members, um, you can disable certain commands, and the commands are in this list here, and you probably won't be editing this, and if you want to edit this, you probably want to edit and explore, because it's a long list. And same with abusable gear. So abusable list, basically the commands that um, if you enable this, members cannot use. And abusable gear, all the IDs that are probably abusable are in here. And uh, if, if you think a certain gear ID or command isn't abusable or is abusable, you can go ahead and configure that. For remote admin, I'll put a link in the description to the V2 remote admin. It's the same thing, only the settings are now here. And so this is what links your account. And the data key is what sends data to uh, the remote admin. Sounds, execute notification sound. Most people don't use this. Um, but if you want to, it makes a sound whenever someone does a command. And enable sounds basically plays the sound like you're an admin when you join. VIP member ID is the ID for a game pass or any item that a user can own. Um, if they have that, then they get member. And same with VIP admin ID, only they get rank admin. Groups. Put in your group ID and it's attached to the admin so you can make certain member ranks um, have different consequences or ranks like member, admin, and so on. So you just put the role set ID, um, it's like 1 out of 255, and they can get um, their rank. Band group IDs, if a player is in a certain group, then they get banned. It's separated with commas, so like 1111222, except that'll be their ID. IRC, you don't really have to worry about it unless you know what you're doing. Um, so you can join the server and the channel, and then nicknames who can um, execute. I don't recommend actually doing this, so you probably should backspace this, unless it's like a registered nickname for that particular server. Most people shouldn't worry about that. And miscellaneous, the prefix is at semicolon um, before every command. And the bet, you can't see it here, but it's a space. It's basically the space between kill and me um, and any other arguments. Color scheme, it's white. You can change it to any other color. If you want to know all the colors, um, you can join the game, say semicolon colors. And the font, you probably shouldn't mess with this, but if you want it to look a certain way, you can do that. Minimum age is how many days old a player needs to be in order to join the game. So if you need, if you want them to be a veteran, you do 365. Transparency scheme, the amount of transparencies. UIs get so 100 is completely transparent and 0 is not transparent at all fun we went over this in the other um, part basically 
members can't do fun slash funny things. This is disabled, so I'll enable it. Server locked. It enabled um, when it's enabled. Kicks non-admins when they join. Enable taskbar is the, um, the taskbar at the bottom. Um, like we showed earlier, and then the admin menu uh, is where it informs you about the admin. And free admin gives free member rank to all non-admins who join the server. Um, it doesn't give it to them if they're banned or crashed or muted. So I hope that helps you if you're new to the admin. And uh, thanks for watching.